Yes, we are back. Back again for another first look at a new game, and this time it's SimRail, the railway simulator prologue. Uh, not the full game, this is the prologue. As always with these first looks of mine though, I've got no further than this main menu. So I'll be seeing this for the first time as you see it for the first time. Grab that guidebook to SimRail, and let's go. So hi there, Steve here, and yes, welcome to SimRail. If you're new to my content, or even if you're not, then welcome indeed. Uh, this going out on YouTube on what I call Random Sunday, a uh, day of the week where I put first looks at new games. Other content for me, train-related, uh, is something from Train Sim Classic on a Wednesday, something from Train Sim World 3 on a Saturday. Other content, though, I put out one of the old games that we maybe haven't played in a while goes out on a Monday, and one of the Twitch streams from the previous week of streams goes out on a Friday. Uh, there'll be links in the description below uh, to where you can get the game, uh, to where you can watch me live on Twitch six days of the week doing all sorts of things, including the trains I just mentioned, uh, and also a link down there to my Discord server as well. So yes, jump straight into this. This is a screen that comes up when you uh, launch. Uh, is all I've done is gone and tweaked some graphics settings, turns some things up because, well, why not? Um, as all you've got then is uh, sound settings. I've left those as they are. Um, we've also got down here uh, simulation settings, which is something to do with signal visibility. Uh, we've left that at 100%. Uh, interface settings. Uh, language automatic unit system is metric. And finally, we got controls, um, which I'm guessing is going to be WAS and D, and the HUD, cameras, um, vehicle controls, uh, up arrow, down arrow, that's going to be useful. Keypad plus and minus, that's going to be useful for my uh, abilities, but okay. Um, we'll give it a go. So, what do we do? Train driver, I'm guessing. Uh, okay, we'll pick that line. Um, we'll go with that train, I'm guessing. A tutorial, that's going to be useful then. We'll see what happens here. Left source is IMP, Pantograph is, so the power control is difficult for me because I can't get to my keyboard, so that's going to be an issue. Welcome to Simray Demo. You are at Dombrowa Gurnicza Zombkowice station. Today you will run passenger train 4665 on the section Dombrowa Gurnicza Zombkowice, Benjin. You will use the 34WE electric multiple unit to operate it. First we have to start by preparing the train. Walk towards the train and leave the cover panel next to the entrance doors. Okay, so W, A, S and D, hold down right mouse button to look around. Uh, I'm guessing it is this train, I'll see anyone here isn't it? Lift the cover panel near the entrance doors. Okay, here. There. Great, now switch on the battery and then close the cover. It's time to enter the cabin. Use the one key or press on the door to enter the passenger section. Okay. Uh, enter through the door. Okay, that's quite cool. Uh, right, enter the cabin, I'm guessing. Uh, enter the cabin. Sit in the driver's seat, seat press on it. Uh, sit down. Now, turn on the radio telephone. It will allow you to communicate with a dispatcher during the entire journey. Uh, oh, over there. <coughs> Activate the cabin by turning the switch clockwise to the first position. Use the button or a spacebar on the keyboard to deactivate the CA SHP security system. These systems will regularly check your alertness while driving. Our vehicle is powered by electricity from overhead contact line system, so it's necessary to lift the pantograph. 
Uh, Pantograph. Uh, okay. How do I do the lifting of the Pantograph? I think there was a button, wasn't there? I've totally forgotten which one it was. Oh, F. Wait, Pantograph contact. Can it's we... time to enter the cabin. Oh. Use the one key or press on the door to enter the passenger section. Now, close the quick circle breaker. Wait for a quick circle breaker to close and also wait for the converter and compressor to start. The correct operation of these devices is necessary, for example, to supply the braking system of a train. Now, set the forward direction. That's quite loud. Turn the headlight to the drive position. Move the brake lever to the drive position. Hold down the main brake line button. It's definitely a loud train. Now we need to release the parking brake. Use the call button on your radio telephone to confirm the readiness of the train dispatcher. Okay, now press the... Zombkovice, 4665, ready to approach the platforms. Wait for a white light to appear on the semaphore that will allow you to drive towards the platform. 4665, here to approach the platform. Climbing. Oh, it's certainly complex. Push the throttle forward to accelerate. You can use the pass key on the numpad. Control the throttle not to exceed 25 km per hour speed limit. Moving. Okay, so that's going to take some getting used to. That's definitely going to take some getting used to. So we've got to go to increase power. Um, I seem to have broke it. Brakes released. Um, have I got brake pressure? I don't appear to have any power. That's that's not a good stuff. Um, what have I done? Brake hasn't come on. We got a. I think the brake had applied. Yeah, there we go. The brake had applied. Or maybe not. We've not got the going forward thing. Oh, and we have here. It's definitely going to take some getting used to. backwards or use the minus key on the numpad to break. Blimey, okay. Did a stopping thing. Allow the passengers to open the doors by rotating the switch to the correct side. Uh what switch? Oh that one. Wait until the departure time. Close the doors after the train manager is ready and ride the train according to the timetable. 
You can see the approximate semaphore indications and upcoming speed limits on the top right corner of the screen. Your speedometer will show you the set power, current speed limit and current brake power. Your train stops at every station and train stop. Pay close attention to indicators and semaphores. Also, pay attention to dispatcher command. 4665, ready for departure. Okay, ready for departure. So It's time to enter the cabin. Use the one key. Or press on the door to enter the passenger section. Disable the ability to open the doors by turning the switch to the correct position. I've done that, right? Oh, we'll disable the ability to open the doors. Cool. Push right. the throttle forward. There we go. To accelerate. I'm slightly speeding. After leaving the station, you can accelerate to the scheduled speed. It's certainly uh, different. I'm used to obviously other train sims. Um, there's certainly a lot more going on. There's a lot more complex as far as the simulation is concerned. I, I can speed up a bit now. Getting used to the regulating the speed is certainly difficult. I don't know how far the next station is as well. But graphically it looks really good. So this is only a prologue, so I'm guessing we're just getting these little tiny journeys uh, to get you used to it. But uh, yeah, it's uh, I didn't know what to expect. I didn't expect this level of detail, if I'm honest. down okay I might have over slowed a little bit there so it's getting used to putting this the, the throttle in this other zone Okay, I can stop now, apparently. Okay, let's bring the stopping back then. And then do the door thing. <clears throat> so a little mirror that pops out down here so we can see uh, passengers getting on or off then I've got to wait for the guard to then tell I'm guessing the doors did open oh, look. oh yeah back doors just closed 4665 ready for departure okay so switch back oh, the other way disable the ability to open the doors by turning the switch to the correct position Push the throttle forward to accelerate. This is certainly different. It, it's making me rethink the whole way of doing a train sim.
Alright, so come off the power. Another train coming the other way. You are approaching the next stop. Okay, I'm not going to stop at this one. Well, actually, it might be right. It's quite a long platform. I passed my break point. Yeah, a little bit. Um, backwards. Definitely got to get used to that braking. Blimey. Okay, switch on that side this time. Put that back into forward. Okay, so it's turn time us. to enter the cabin. Use the one key or press on the door to enter the passenger section. Okay, door closed. Disable the to open the doors by turning the switch to the correct position. Push the throttle forward to accelerate. Yeah, it's actually done very, very well. I'd certainly be interested in looking at the full game when it releases. So I'm guessing it's our last stop approaching then. We've got a horn. Emergency brake. Sanding. Horn. And a whistle. The visible semaphore indicates that the next semaphore is displaying the stop signal. Drive carefully. Drive carefully? That's not going to happen. I'm now going to run a red light, aren't I? I wonder what it's going to do when I run the red light. A red light. Oops. Well, there we go. Uh, I actually quite like that. That was quite impressive. The fact it's multiplayer as well. How does that work? Oh, it's greyed out at the moment. So you've only got the train driver available. But multiplayer in the future? That could be interesting. That could definitely be interesting. Uh, so there we go. Yeah, definitely something I'll come back and look at in the future. When there's a full release, I'll certainly do that. Uh, but check out the link below uh, so that you can hopefully uh, give it a go. And check out the link below as well to my uh, Twitch page uh, and to the Discord server as well. But that certainly got me interested. I will certainly be doing some more in that. Uh, we will end there. Until the next time, if you have been, thanks very, very much for watching.